What is up guys, Abuyan here today with another fantastic deck. Today we're going to talk about the Meow V and Ma Meow V Max deck, right? But before I'm going to talk about the deck itself, let's not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, more Pokemon trading card game content and down there below have in the description the whole deck list and the code to TCG Player where you can purchase the deck online, uh, online IRL and for, you know, uh, Oak, Professor Oak for 5% discount and you code to purchase on that. Alright, so V uh, Max. V Max cards are the brand new cards that will be released in Sword and Shield set in February, right? February 7th, that is the street date of the set. Of course, as you know, V uh, certain V cards like V Meow with uh, his V Max that you see right now on the screen has been already released with uh, not only you know, the online version but also IRL version, right? Like oversight promo with the regular one. Of course, there are two Zashan V and um, Zenza V oversight promos, but they are not not released as the smaller versions, right? That are playable. We only got this fantastic Meow V and V Max. So as you can see, it has 300 HP. Four colorless and G Max Gold Rush for 200, and you draw three cards. I was like, you know what? Since I received that card, why shouldn't I just, you know, build a deck around it? It's uh, three colorless. It's colorless in general. So let's make him a fire type engine. So this is gonna be a fire type engine, V uh, Max Meow, and with the Meow V. So let's take a look at the whole deck. So as you see, we got one Meow V. Payday, you draw one card, deal 30 damage, and Slashing Claw, 130 damage. One, of course, copy of Meow V Max. One, Hit Run GX, two, Reshazard GXs, of course, Tag Team GXs, one Victini, two Dead Dead Ace, and two Jirachis. That is it, that's the whole line of Pokemon, which is 10 Pokemon only. Then we're gonna go a little bit down to the trainer cards, which are 32 trainer cards. We got three cherish balls, four custom catchers. Of course, I know you can say, oh man, but why not the great catchers? I just do prefer my custom catchers a little bit more because you will want to get to the pieces that are not always GXs. And you know, sometimes you might play against someone that plays a V card, and well, this gets it as well. And why not nine tails where there was just not enough space for it? Then we got two pole pads, four pocket gears 3.0 three Pokemon communications over here, one reset stamp, but two giant halves, as you can see, you know, gorgeous giant half. We got one Heat Factory, one Power Plant for the Mew 3 matchups, three Cynthia's and Caitlyn, one Malo and Lana for the Retreat and Heal, one, two Professor Oak setups to actually set up your band, right? Because you have to search somehow for the Meow V, and that is the best, best case scenario right now. Of course, later we're gonna have Quick Balls that are gonna help us with the search, but now we only have uh, the cards like that, or if Pokemon fan club. One Rosa, four welders, and 18 fire type energy. That is it. That is the whole deck. It's down there below in the description. You can just copy and paste it. Let's go. Let's play those games, right? Shall we? Let's go. Do you want to go first or you want to go second? You do want to go first, right? In general, you do want to go first because you want to evolve into your VMAX uh, during your second turn. And even if you would know, even if you would not be able to play the support at turn one, and you can only attach the energy, you can play the welder turn two. Of course, talking about the new rules that are going to kick in uh, late February, you still have four energy turn two if you go second, if you go first, right? So on your turn two, you can attack for the full potential of the V Max attack, which is a gold rush, 300, 200 damage, and three cards to being drawn. So let's go first. Let's see what our hand is going to be. Of course, you know, playing one one is a little bit risky. If you want, you can play, and I recommend that go 2 2 line of uh, those VV Max card. But, well, I didn't receive uh, any more, and you know, again, it's really hard to find in the store, and you know. This is not the right time uh, for, for, for me to do the purchases uh, of those V cards yet. So I'm really thankful uh, for the fact that, you know, I actually received that from fantastic, fantastic friend. All right, so let's start right now with Heat Factory. Let's draw those three cards. Okay, so I'm already going to go for Cherish Ball. And now let's take a look what we have here. So first and foremost, this is the most important part. But let's take a look over here. So Jirachi is there. Church balls. Pole pad definitely prized. Poke gear prized. Communication I have in my hand. Okay, no, Poke gear is not prized. Okay, so uh, this is good. Giant herf in hand. Well, okay, so majority of my prize cards are energy cards, from what I can see and from what I can tell, which is good. 
All right, this is actually pretty good, that Energy R. Uh, power plant is there, of course, you know, uh, also in price cards. So I'm gonna try to get myself so words, of course, fantastic meow. V, thanks to the Pokemon communication. And this, you know, kind of the strategy that uh, we were all using as we were playing cards, for example, like Peak Rom, uh, before, before we're uh, we're gonna get quick ball right you want to have something else so you can pokemon communication for uh for your tapu coco prism so let's put the energy over here let's put the energy on the v there we go third energy of course the third energy is gonna go here as well stella wish let's take a look what we're gonna get from a stellar wish which is malo and lana and i'm gonna take that malo and lana definitely because, you know, it helps me retreat next turn. And I'm just going to pass the turn because there's nothing else I can do. I did not woke up. So I'm ending up with three energies right now on my Meow V. I still can draw more, you know. I still have a Heat Factory. He might actually get rid of it. But I can uh, pull this off. I know my prize cards quite well. I know majority are energies, power plant. And one more thing that I kind of forgot. Bad. So right, so he's gonna get rid of uh, Heat Factory, but I will have my Giant Hearth, so if there is going to be a scenario where uh, he's gonna, you know, want to uh, play something like, you know, Shrine of Punishment on that or something else, I have an option. So he, let's take a look, this is a Fighting type deck, so definitely, you know, the weakness uh, kicks in a little bit, okay, a little bit, super hard, because, oh, okay, this is Hit and Run deck, you might say, but Tapu Lele, I haven't seen that Tapu Lele uh, in a while now, Especially in this this version, so we got a magical swap, right? Of course, this is the version for the magical swap. So he is gonna try to swap, and I think he's gonna be greedy. I think he's gonna be super greedy and go for Jirachi. And I don't think he has. Oh, all right. So no greedy here. He's just going for his Monchan. He's attacking. He's probably gonna be attacking a bench, right? Hit and run. There he goes. I know I have a knockout next turn, but the, you know the question is where right where i have that knockout so let's start with heat factory let's draw those three cards okay um pokegear 3.0 there's still a supporter card i can play and cynthia and caitlin is a supporter so giant hearth of course because i will kind of need energy so then caitlin let's bring back welder to my hand so this is preparing my next turn my next move and let's take a look over here what I can do. So, from what I can tell, you know what? I'm gonna use this tell I wish, sure. Oh, okay, so this kind of changes a lot of things. What are we gonna do now? So I have a Cherish Ball. I mean, I have few options, right? I know I have few options. So definitely I'm gonna have to drop Victini. Energy is gonna go over here. And love it or hate it, I'm gonna go for the Dene. I'm just gonna go for the Dene, just thin out of my deck a little bit, just so I can get to the pieces that I want. So let's play that the Dene, let's drop it. Of course, I will still have the energy from the Giant Hearth, I haven't used that. And let's take a look, we got it, okay, we got a VMAX, which is great. I still have the energy, I still have Jirachis, I still have options, and that's what is important. And I know what I have in this, uh, in Price Cards Heatran GX. That's in price cards. So passing the turn, because I don't want to end up with you know, one Pokemon that's ready to attack and not actually, you know, who's going to get knocked out, nothing else to play. And I know he doesn't have enough room for the whole combo, right? Because Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Lee, and Hitmon Top. And Hitmon Top is like the nastiest one, because this is the one that, you know, does all the spread damage so i have to be a little bit careful here on that but also you know we do have a custom catch i might actually draw into a second one and i know as soon as i'm gonna get rid of hitmon of anything from that chain right so hitmon chan hitmon lee any one of those guys from the chain because it has to be a sequence right it's hitmon chan and hitmon lee has to attack and then a hitmon top if I'm gonna be able to get rid of one of them from the chain, I'm good, right? And that's f what my opponent is digging for, because he wants to use Hitman Tap. He wants to get that spread damage, and then use some magical swap. Like definitely an interesting idea for the magical swap to do it this way. There we go. 
Oak setup, so he's gonna go for Hitmonlee, Energy on Hitmonlee, and he's gonna retreat uh, Jirachi onto a Hitmonlee. But I think he played Cynthia this turn, so he can't really do that. He's preparing his next turn, which does make sense. He's preparing Tapu Lele, of course, for you know for the magical swap. So he is doing things, right? He is doing things. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club. But again, like, why would you, you know? Why would you go and Poke Gear if you already used, right? Like, this is something I don't really like doing, and you know that. Like, you know that I personally am not a fan of stuff like that. So. Let's take a look. Um, I mean, I can outrage. Okay, welder. So I'm gonna go with my V Max. Draw cards, and I will be drawing a ton of cards right now with my V Max. Like, I know that, and this is good because you know, thanks to that, I will be able to you know do stuff. Right, me drawing those cards is really not a bad idea. Of course, he might at some point play something along the lines of Reset Stamp, which might be problematic a little bit. But I can also, you know, probably get to a Custom Catcher, I can get to, you know, other piece. I can... Actually, let's see if I'm right about Heatran. Yes, I'm right about Heatran, right? I might draw into a Heatran, just, you know, retreat and start using Heatran as well. So let's go, that's... A draw of three cards with the gold rush. Look at that welder onto it two energies. Are we gonna have a heat run? No, that's a third energy, but this means that next turn I will have four energy on the rest ramen Charizard, which is a flash strike uh, attack. Even though there is weakness involved, that is going to be like 100 damage. He's gonna retreat. So I'm fine, I'm honestly fine. He's going for Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Top. He's going for the whole combo. I might still draw into Custom Catcher, and I know if I'm gonna stop. Hitmon Lee, right? If I'm gonna get that custom catchers on a Hitmon Lee, I'm good. That's why I'd rather play custom catchers than a great catcher. Of course, if you want, you can go like, you know, four, two, four, one. There you go, Hitmon Lee. But for me, you know, I, I, I am a fan. Like, I'm a big fan of custom catchers, and I can't deny that. So, of course, there's gonna be 90 damage, right? To the benched one, uh, reset stamp. All right, so he's stamping me. Definitely a great move. Like he knows that I might have what I need, and oh, he literally just drew me into custom catcher and welder. And as I said, right, hitman top. There we go, because he is doing the 60 everywhere. And the combo, you know, the combo is real. Like I have to be careful there. So I have two options right now. I can go and get the hitman lay. So he has to do the whole thing over again. Or I can be like, okay, you know, you can attack 90 on the benched one, but that's a knocking on Victini, right? So what I'm gonna do right now is get a custom catcher, get that Hitmon Lee. I'm gonna try to knock this guy out. I'm gonna go and use a pole pad, right? So we're gonna use a pole pad. I'm gonna bring back Malo and Lana, and also, well, actually, Rosa. Actually, I'm gonna bring back Rosa, okay? This gives me you know, two cards that I can work with for the energy. So I can actually get those four energies this turn onto onto my Reshazad. Draw three. I know it's going to be a, like, a big draw. Like I have to be careful with that with those draws. And that's a G Max Gold Rush. Two hundred damage. And we're going. So I know at a certain point I'm gonna have to stop, right? Like at a certain point I'm gonna have to stop attacking with the Meow VMAX. And I think you know, next turn is gonna be the last attack of Meow VMAX. And we're gonna switch into into our uh, Reshazad as a main attacker. That's what I would say. And I think that is a great actually option and a great move to do. Cause then, you know, again, he can't really do enough damage he has to attack with hitmon chan again like the whole chain has to come around again maybe he might draw into hitmon lee and retreat and you know use that hitmon lee and complete the chain up until hitmon top just to get rid of everything i have it's still a possibility but i do think you know it's going to be really really hard for him and judging by the fact that you know, how is he behaving right now i do think that this is problematic that there is a problem uh, with 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 uh, this chain because again I like hidden run deck but I think more Pico hidden run is going to be a lot better and the fact that he played Diane say as an active 
tells me the whole story. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Because he would play Jirachi because it's easier to retreat. He would play Tapulele because, again, he has energy to retreat. Hitmonchan, easier to retreat. But Dianse, that is not that easy to retreat. Or he just you know, is AFK and he just said, like, okay, I'm not playing anymore against Raven because this is not happening. So you know my strategy, you know exactly what I want to do, because there's no way he can actually knock me out right now. So I have one more turn of attacking with the Meow Max. Those are three prize cards, I know. All right, so he's going for Hitmonlee. Okay, so he can actually knock out Victini. It's fine, it's fair enough. Hard for me, right? Like, it's definitely you know, not something I, I would love to see. And there we go, so he has the chain, so he's gonna go for a Hitman Top. A Hitman Top deals 60 damage everywhere. But he just decided to give up. And I don't blame him, I don't blame him. I had Reshazad ready to go, I had so many, you know, attackers, and even if he would actually start knocking out stuff, he, even with Meow, I think he would end up like with five prize cards left, and I still had my Resh Reshazad. It might have, the, the game might have went, you know, two ways, but that was the way uh, I wanted it to go, and that was the victory. So guys, this is a fantastic, honestly, really, really good V Max and V Meow deck that I highly recommend you checking out. It's down there below in the description. Just copy and paste it to your own Pokemon trading card game online. Uh, go to a TCG player, get those cards IRL. They're really, really good and solid. And as of right now, the deck is super, super nice to play. And definitely when people do see Meow V, Meow V Max, they have this, like, distance to you, like, okay, yeah, like... He is not joking, and definitely, you know, you want that, right? You, you want this, you know, like, a little bit of intimidation uh, on that field. So, guys, I want to say thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel. Don't forget to check us out live on Twitch, and I just want to say I love you all. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. Goodbye, and good night. Raven loves you. Take care. Bye. Play that meow. That's true. Meow. <laughs> Bye.